Oh. Hi and happy Friday. I'm so sorry. I'm just picking up the camera today and that's because my week has been super busy with work. And actually, I had participated in the Sephora VIB and Rogue sale. If you don't know what that is, that is when you get 15% off your purchase from Sephora. And yeah, basically my package came on Monday and I spent over $1,000 and I was going to do like a Sephora $1,000 spend haul. But I just really don't have time with my work schedule right now. So I'm just going to do the haul in this video since I don't really have any footage for this vlog yet. So let's just get into it. First of all, when you spend $1,000 at Sephora, this is what the box looks like. Not organized at all right now. I'm just doing this because one of my meetings got pushed back. So let's get into it. I spent, I have no idea, it doesn't say. I know I spent over a grand though, so. The first thing that I got and probably why my bill was so expensive is I got the Dyson hair dryer. And I actually bought two. I got one for myself. I got myself this silver gray one. And I got my mom the classic one, which is like the fuchsia pink and the gray handle portion. And then hers was also like this special edition thing that they had going, and it came with a pink box, like a travel case. I haven't opened mine yet, obviously, but I gave my mom hers already because she was getting antsy about my package being there, and I was like, shh, shh. anyway, there's something in there for you. So, yeah, I gave hers to her, and I did try it out. Oh my god, this thing is worth every penny. I know that sounds ridiculous because it's $399, but 15% off, and it dries your hair so fast. Like, I mean, for me, that's really important. If I can save more time on getting ready in the morning and things like that, then I'm all about it. And so I think this is truly worth every penny. And I know Dyson is a highly rated brand and that this is going to last me a long, long time. Fingers crossed that that is true. The next thing that I purchased is like one of my Holy Grail hair, Holy Grail hair products. One of my Holy Grail hair hair products. English. It's so tough sometimes. Anyways, it's the Bumble and Bumble Hair Dressers Invisible Oil and I got two because I use this stuff every day and so like why not go ahead and buy it when it's 15% off. So yeah, I have two of these. I put this in my hair pretty much after I shower and I let it like soak into my hair because it's a heat eat, heat I just can't English today. It is a heat and UV protective primer. So yeah, two of these. After that, another hair product that I got is the Bumble and Bumble Save the Day Daytime Protective Repair Fluid. And I've actually gotten like two little samples of these from Sephora and I really like the product. It's basically what I use for day two hair. So like today is day one hair. I dried and curled it and then tomorrow I'll probably wake up, put some of this on like the lower one inch of my hair and then do touch up curls as needed. And this is what I use because it really just like smooths it out and like makes your hair look really good. If you've ever watched any of my Get Ready With Me videos, you know that I use the Yves Laurent All Hours Foundation and Touche Eclat Primer. So I picked up one of each of those. I think these are pretty much going to, I think these, I think these are pretty much going to remain as like my trusty foundation routine right now. I just don't have time to figure out another one that works with my skin. And it's been doing pretty well. So yeah, all hours in BD30 and then the Touche Club Blur Primer. So picked up those. And then another thing that I always use in my makeup tutorials, if you watched it, is the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I currently have the mini travel size, but they don't make that anymore. So I bought the full size. Arrgh, how do you open this? Oh yeah. So this is the chocolate matte bronzer. So yeah. 
And then for Coachella, I had actually purchased this Super Goop mini three pack. It came with their unseen sunscreen and then like their body sunscreen mousse and then like their sunscreen spray. The sunscreen spray, I didn't like that much because it has this intense alcohol smell and I just really didn't like um, that smell on my face, if that makes sense. But I did love their unseen sunscreen and it's an SPF 40. This has a very similar texture to this which is like a gel texture and it just sits super, super well on your face. And I've been looking for a really good everyday sunblock to put under my makeup and I truly think this is it. My makeup did not budge that much in the Coachella sun and even though I was sweating and things like that, I feel like my makeup looked really good at the end of the day. So this is the product. And on top of that, I did love their body sunscreen and we're moving into the summer in California, even though it's like 60 something degrees today. I don't know what's going on, but summer will eventually kick in and I'm going to Hawaii. So I purchased the Super Goop. This is the Super Power Sunscreen Mousse. I love the way the mousse comes out and it dries pretty quickly compared to other sunscreens. Sometimes I don't want to put on sunscreen because I don't like the way it makes my skin feel, but this one dries pretty quickly and so that uncomfortable feeling is only for a few minutes. So yeah, I use this at Coachella. I didn't get sunburnt this year, which is less amazing. I did get a little bit tan, but I'm fine with that. So yeah, highly recommend checking out the sunscreen if you're in the market for one. And then if you're like me, you've probably seen the Bora Bora Trippin' with Tarte vlogs that a bunch of YouTubers have put up. And the product that I was most, and the product that I was most interested in that a lot of the girls had mentioned was the Tarte Drink of H2O. This is a hydrating boost, like, lotion. Is that makes sense? It's like a water-based lotion. Um, but yeah, look at this packaging, first of all. I love this. This is really cute. So yeah, open that up. And this is what it is. Yeah, it's the Drink of H2O. It's like a hydrating when you, lotion when your skin is thirsty, is what they say. But look at that, it is like a gel. And I don't really put on lotion in the morning because I don't like the way that richness feels under my makeup. But a lot of the girls were showing this as like a, yeah, oh yeah. So I'll be trying that tomorrow and working that into my routine. And then, because I bought all of this stuff, I got a bunch of points, and I actually became a Sephora Rogue status. And with that, they give you a gift. So I chose the foundation brush, because if you know me, I typically use a beauty blender because it's a lot more natural and sheen finish. But anytime that I travel and go out, like I thought it'd be nice to have a foundation brush. So it comes in this little bag, probably won't use it. And then it's in this silicone bag, which I probably will use. And then this is the brush. That's pretty cute. Yeah, cute foundation brush. It's actually pretty soft. It's okay. It's not as soft as a Too Faced teddy bear brush, but still really soft. So I'm excited to try that. Then with my points, I picked up the Find Your Fab First Aid Beauty. It's like 500 point little kit thing. It comes with the face cleanser, resurfacing liquid with 10% AHA, a coconut water cream, and the ultra repair cream. I love taking these for travel because it's just super easy. Like I don't really have to think about it. I can just pop this whole thing in my travel bag, all four products. Obviously they're travel size, so they'll be fine inside like my carry-on. And I don't even have to think about skincare and things like that. Along with this, I just take some makeup remover wipes. Because when I'm traveling, I really, really try to travel light and try to take just a carry-on. Because, girl, I'm trying to pay no extra baggage fees and stuff like that. Anyways, for my three free samples, I picked up the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. 
I used to use this product all the time, but I don't really wear that much eyeshadow anymore. So the cleansing foam from Omoravisti. I've never heard of this, but I like little traveling cleansing foams or like cleansing washes or like removers or whatever because again great for travel and then I've been wanting to try this product which is the Brazilian bum bum cream right now my favorite lotion is the Glossier body um, lotion but I'm on my second bottle of that and I'm like maybe after I can try something else out and a lot of YouTubers have been saying great things about the Brazilian bum bum cream so I picked up a little sample because it was a part of it so I was like perf. And yeah, that was my Sephora 1000K plus haul. Hope you enjoyed watching. Hi! I'm back eating with my friend and this is the same friend if you watched my last vlog. <laughs> who was in San Francisco when I showed up to the restaurant. <laughs> this is the same restaurant. Luckily, there's a different worker, so I don't have to embarrass my soul. But this is Athelina. Hello. That was the TV that they turned on for me because I was eating by myself. But, you know, now I have a friend. 